Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here. And with over 1,500 videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you an overview and showing you the power of the MSI Command Center software. This happens to be the overclocking series software, which will work on the X Power and M Power boards. So what we have on our first screen is a heads up information here with our OS, BIOS version, CPU, and the model of the motherboard we're using. We have an information tab here giving you information on the software itself, minimize, and also a little mini mode here which gives you the most pertinent information uh, so you can keep that up while you're working on something else. And of course the exit button here, uh, the X, typical X. So what we see on the front screen is pretty basic. We have five buttons here for navigating. And you have your CPU frequency information, your CPU fan information, as well as buttons to set default, the default levels, apply your settings, save profiles and load profiles. So you also have navigation here using this right arrow, which will get you to most of the same screens that these buttons will. Down here, you have a little indicator of which screen you're on in the slide left and right of it. And you have three buttons here for information hardware monitoring, which brings up a window with all your pertinent information, current stats. You have your memory information, so you can pick which DIMM slots and see all the information on that memory. You have a button for your CPU information you have a button for your motherboard information. And you also have settings here for mobile control for setting warning thresholds. So if you check the box, you can enter the, say this is option fan two, when it reaches a certain RPM to give you a warning message. Defaults, apply, save, load. These are all on pretty much on all the screens. So you can set default settings, apply, save, load, and etc. You can also up here select all and set an alert sound so you actually hear something when the warning goes off. Under record you can set a how long you want to record for and actually record some information graphing your voltages or your fan speeds, your temperature, and recording that so you can have a little record or graph of it if you want something like that. Under advanced here, we have three buttons here, one for a memory window, one for a fan, setting fan profiles, the same window basically that you get here, except that you can pick your specific fans, and one for your voltages, which gives you all your pertinent voltage information uh, that your motherboard's set to and allows you to adjust them right from here. So on our CPU frequency, we can move the sliders up and down by clicking and dragging. We can also do a select all. So when you move the sliders up and down, it moves all of them at once. You have a place where you can type in a CPU ratio here or clear it out. And you also have the plus and minus here where you can adjust that ratio one at a time as well as your base clock megahertz. CPU fan here you've got smart mode where you can set a fan profile based on certain temperatures or you have manual mode where you can just set the percentage that the fan is running at at all times. You also have a fan tune button which the system will try to tune the fans to keep them quietest while keeping your system um, cool. One other thing to note here is that you have a quick little temperature gauge here which gives you both Celsius and Fahrenheit temperatures. If we browse to the right here on the CPU page we get our CPU voltages and then if we keep going we get our DRAM frequency and voltage. If we click the DRAM button, we get the same thing. We get the DRAM frequency and voltage. You can see down here that it actually 
moved over uh, another page and so here you can set the the voltages by dragging this or typing in this box here and also little information on what settings are plausible integrated graphics frequency and same thing if we click this IGP tab it actually gives us the same screen here where we could adjust these things if we were using them if we click the RAM disk button we get one more screen over where we can enable the RAM disk, set the disk letter, disk name, and options here of things that you definitely want to be put on, as well as whether you restore it or whether the RAM disk gets backed up. And then of course we have the OC Genie page where we can actually click our OC Genie button right from within the command center program. So as you can see, the MSI Command Center is a fairly simple but very powerful utility that allows you to do a lot of adjustments in Windows directly. One thing to definitely keep in mind is that if you don't like using software within Windows to do your overclocking, you absolutely can use all of the same settings in the UEFI BIOS. Click BIOS 4 on this board and for that I will be showing you another video that gives you all that information of how to navigate the BIOS and show you where the settings are. So for the full review on our motherboards, please see www.hightechlegion.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page, Twitter page, and Facebook, and take care.